right students uh, today i am going to explain you osmotic problems faced by animals living in marine habitat and what are the adaptations observed in the marine animals to overcome osmotic problems adaptations in marine habitat yes students if we take the marine habitat sea water in sea water salinity is high more salty or high salinity the problem faced by the marine animals living in this habitat is exosmosis it is exosmosis students you have to understand first what is exosmosis loss of water from the body it is loss of water or salts through water from the body now the question is how do these animals overcome this problem how do these animals overcome this exosmosis problem right no adaptations are observed in marine fishes so the, let us take that this is marine habitat and marine water and fish marine fish you know first of all let me say you the problem is exosmosis so why this problem arises marine water high salinity and fish body let us take it as low salinity moving of molecules from low concentration to high concentration that phenomena works here so if this happens this fish will die no fish can survive in marine water but even though we are observing it is the home marine habitat is the home for many aquatic organisms now what are the adaptations observed in these animals so the biggest adaptation but the point what we have to write here is these fishes the adaptation is having a glomerular kidneys students a glomerular kidneys means less number of nephrons less number of nephrons so i am writing in the next page so adaptation here is a glomerular kidneys so a glomerular kidneys means 
less number of nephrons. Less number of nephrons minimize the loss of water or salts from the body. Minimize loss of water from the body. Now to compensate the salt concentration osmoregulation, these fishes near their gills have salt secreting chloride secreting cells chloride secretory cells right now this is about fishes. How do they maintain osmoregulation? So all the time these fishes are putting efforts to maintain isotonic uh, uh, nature between uh, the sea water and within the body. So isotonic. So maintenance of osmoregulation. This is how they maintain. So this is how they survive. Right. Then what about birds? Some of the sea gulls, sea birds like penguins, you know, when they are eating fishes, they will drink sea water. So, if they drink much sea water, then their body's osmoregulation will fail. Their body's osmoregulation may fail. Right. So, to overcome this problem, to eliminate excess of salts, these seabirds like seagulls, penguins, they have, they continuously drip the excess of salts through their nostrils as nasal passages. This is how they eliminate, they remove excess of salts. Now, when we take the example of turtles, Sea turtles, they eliminate excess of salts in the form of tears through their eyes. Clear students? So that is about adaptations observed in animals living in marine habitat. I said the problem and I said about the adaptations. Right. Now, let me enlighten you a few two marks questions related to this here, students. First question, differentiate between urihaline and stenohaline animals. Urihaline and stenohaline animals. Differentiate between urihaline and stenohaline animals. Urihaline animals means animals which can tolerate wide salinity fluctuations animals which can tolerate wide salinity fluctuations for example migratory fishes brack estuarian fishes like salmon Hilsa, etc. So, what are stenohaline animals? Animals which cannot tolerate wide salinity fluctuations. Animals which cannot 
टॉलरेट वाइड सेलिनिटी फ्लक्चुएशन सो इवन दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट एनिमल्स विच टॉलरेट विच कैन टॉलरेट वाइड सेलिनिटी फ्लक्चुएशन आर कॉल्ड यूरी हेलाइन एनिमल्स एंड विच कैन नॉट टॉलरेट वाइड सेलिनिटी फ्लक्चुएशन आर कॉल्ड स्टीनो हेलाइन एनिमल्स अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट distinguish between anadromous migration and catadromous migration anadromous migration and catadromous migration no migration from sea to river migration from sea to river that is marine habitat to fresh water habitat is called anadromous migration an example for anadr anadromous migration salmon hilsa they comes under anadromous migration now what is catadromous migration migration from river to sea water is called catadromous migration an example for catadromous migration anguilla anguilla bengalensis even this is important to marks question student so that's about these important two marks questions related to water thank you very much all the best ms education academy preparing world worthy individuals